We think open cloud is an extremely important concept. Cloud is, uh, presents a new model for everybody uh, and one in which we have the opportunity to build something that's different than what's been built in the past. And bringing everybody together, whether it be individual developers or large companies, to innovate together on a common kernel, a common thing that becomes uh, the standard in cloud is extremely important. And the, the level of innovation that we've seen around OpenStack to date has been truly impressive. Uh, OpenStack is a set of software for building both public and private clouds. It's a project that we launched uh, two years ago in conjunction with NASA. Uh, the goal was to enable any enterprise, any organization who wanted to build a cloud based on a set of open source technologies to be able to do so. One of the real promises of OpenStack and the open cloud is to provide for true interoperability for customers. To be able to deploy a workload um, and use a workload where you want it, uh, and to be able to have it all work together. So the idea that a customer can have a workload running on an OpenStack environment in their data centers, in a Rackspace data center, and in, in another facility, and have it all work together is a very exciting thing for us. And we also want to see the pace of development in cloud really take off. And so we made the decision to open source our technology in conjunction with NASA and then uh, a host of other companies uh, and together build a standard platform for cloud computing that customers can consume wherever they want. And ultimately for us, that is a real differentiator in the service marketplace. It allows us to focus on what we're really good at, which is making sure that the customer environment runs really well and that we're great support partners for them on top of OpenStack. The OpenStack community is very diverse. We have several different key groups that are involved in its development. Uh, the first are obviously the developers themselves. Uh, we had about 250 contributors to the last release of code uh, in April, uh, but obviously there's significantly larger numbers of developers who are contributing to the project overall. Uh, you have a large group of users that are deploying the project today and are very actively involved in contributing to its development. Uh, and the third would be uh, the companies that are helping to sponsor the project itself, that are bringing the customers and bringing the developers. Red Hat's a great example. Um, that has gone from an initial launch of two, two groups, uh, Rackspace and NASA, to now getting close to 200. Uh, and many of those are putting significant resources towards the success of the project by incorporating it into their product sets. I think that open source is something that people um, are excited about as a movement. Uh, developers want to work on it. Enterprises are very excited about what it brings to them in terms of control over their own environments and control over their own roadmaps. Uh, we think it's a very important way to, to, to develop software going forward. We're excited to see Red Hat commit to using OpenStack as part of their product set for customers. Red Hat knows a lot about enterprise software. They know a lot about infrastructure. We certainly think the expertise they bring to the community about just making OpenStack easier to deploy and easier to consume will be very important as people start to use OpenStack. The long-term future of OpenStack is very exciting. I think the number of companies, uh, the diversity, the fact that we've got such broad representation internationally uh, bode good things for the project. And for us, it's about seeing continued adoption. We want to see more service providers using OpenStack. We certainly want to see more enterprises use it within their own data centers. And most importantly, we want to see the promise of interoperability. We want to see uh, those solutions working together so customers can really achieve the true vision of cloud, uh, which is the ability to move workloads around and consume them where they want to. And that's what we're really excited about. It's an area that Red Hat, I think, shares a common vision with the community. We're very excited to see their leadership on it.